All right, today's adventure takes us to Ortega Mountain over by Shiloh, Arizona. And um, it should be just a quick hike. Hopefully get some summit to summit today. So let's get cracking. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima, Charlie. Summit's on the air. All right, N1CLC, Ham Ninja here. Um, I'm at what is going to be my trailhead for Ortega Mountain. It's up in the White Mountains between uh, Sholo and Concho. And uh, there's like an eight-pointer up here. Um, I'm up the road about a mile or so. Probably have another mile to get to the peak. Um, this road is really not made for city highlanders. Uh, just not enough clearance here. So I decided to pull off. If you got a Jeep, you could probably go a lot farther. Um, you just need more clearance, that's all. So no problem, gonna walk up from here and uh, see what I can get. So let's go. It's a uh, high desert. We're probably at about 7,000 feet here. Um, so, and I understand there's a road all the way up to the top. We're at 6,400 feet actually, right here. So, um, it's, yeah, just a really, really rocky, uh, big volcanic rocks. Just one to ooze out of the ground everywhere. So, um, given it is a very high, very volcanic area, would make sense. So, this is just a really, uh, Real Jeep road. Oof. Yeah, pulled off just in time. Looks like it gets rough here. About three quarters of a mile in. This uh, road coming up past that little uh, cinder mining area is pretty darn steep. So you'll need four wheel drive to get up here probably. But uh, nothing special as you can see. And it's covered with cinders. I, I, if I come up to something like that, I'd have to stop and throw that giant thing off the road, but I always wondered how that ship ends up there. Anyway, some interesting views off this high, uh, high desert plateau, looking right at uh, Greens Peak. So, interesting country in here. Uh, cedar, and some other just, you know, chaparral. We're up almost into the saddle, a little uh, small summit before the big one. And uh, as you can see, you probably need four wheel drive and a lot more clearance than I have. So um, I'll have to start a, a Kickstarter to get the Ham Ninja a Jeep. <laughs> That'd be nice. But uh, I'd probably take it out here and get stuck anyway. All right. There's our summit. It is nothing special at all. Um, again, interesting country in here. Um, oak. Looks like a pine tree there. A little Christmas tree there. So, uh, just really interesting country out here. In what I call high desert. Uh, the soil is probably tough for stuff to get going in but nature figures out a way. All right, let's get cracking. Looks like there's a road. Um, goes up and kind of curls, as, uh, switch backs up the mountain. So I'll probably just follow that. Let's see how it goes. The connects in more from the, uh, it curls around the other side. It looks like, I think it's charted, but it comes up here to the saddle. Um, oh yeah, and there's a road that pretty much goes straight up. So a lot better road there might, uh, Less Jeep required, less clearance that is. But uh, anyway, maybe I'll take the frontal assault road there to give it a shot. Okay, I'm in the activation zone. <sighs> and the road looks like it ends right here, pretty funny, right at this fence line. Um, that's state trust land. 
So, um, I'm sure I can activate from there, but I can always activate from this side too. This is Apache Sick Grace, so. Oh. That's uh, the frontal assault's a bit uh, steep, but shit, if I can do it, anybody can do it. All right, enough yakking, let's get cracking. Alrighty then, I have my pole stuck into that little cap with the nail in it. Uh, down there, hooked to that cedar tree. So, uh, and then the line coming down. I don't know if you can see that. Tied off back there, and then I got the RG174 coming back here to my operating position in the shade. So I got shade, water, all I need is a beer uh, and a whole bunch of contacts. Let's get going. This is a great little, uh, before we do that, let me give you a quick little 360 up here. You go to the top and uh, got some interesting views here. Um, probably staying on the summit pin. Over in this direction, that's Cholo. We'll move to the left, uh, Pine Top Lakeside. Greens Peak, right there on the horizon. Uh, with a better lens, you can see the towers coming off of that baby. And coming over there to the uh, east, swinging around. A little community down here. Uh, probably some ranching community. And don't know what it's called, kind of back in there, tucked in there. Some big houses in there. Oh, I take that back. That's a highway. There's a little community down there. There's one down here in this valley, too. Um, but uh, pretty barren up here. Just me and the trees. And some uh, birds wonder if I'm going to keel over. Temperature's about 75. We got a perfect breeze up here. You can probably hear the mic. Um, so keeping me cool. Uh, it's a little afternoon. I wanted to get up here earlier, but after yesterday's hike, I slept like a baby. And a lazy, lazy time. Of course, had to walk Sulu, make sure she was taken care of and happy. So, let's get on the air and start yakking. Okay, that's a wrap from the summit. Um, got a couple summit to summits. Um, one of them was sideband, and it was her first um, soda activation, according to the notes. So, congratulations on your first summit. Uh, running sideband, that was awesome. And I'll have to send you a QSL card. And I believe you were up in uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. So, very cool. All right, so we're going to head down. Um, I really enjoyed my operating position here in the shade. It's probably about 70 degrees, 75, slight breeze, and it was just absolutely perfect. Um, I think the other notable call I got was John, uh, ZL1BYZ, down in uh, New Zealand. So thanks, John, appreciate another one. So with that, let's get cracking. Back to the car. Up the east side of the, um, the little mountain in front of Ortega. So I'm going down the east side. And uh, this road is definitely doable on a four wheel drive. Not too many rocks. This one I'd have to move. Um, it's just amazing how <laughs> these things grow right in the middle of the road. But um, yeah, it's uh, like I said, about 75 degrees, I think, still. And, uh, slight breeze, so very enjoyable. Okay, back of the car, two miles and 538 feet of ascent. Um, pretty easy from where I parked, so you could cut that down if you had a Jeep. Um, there's some gnarly rocks in here. <laughs> I mean, some uh, that volcano was shooting some stones. But uh, anyway, good activation. I already gave you the wrap up from the top. 
So thanks chasers. And uh, thanks for to the other activators who've been out there, gave me some summit to summits. A lot of fun, great views and a little bit of exercise. Till next time, 73.